Pwede niyo ba akong turuan na mag-tiktok dance? Maayong adlaw mga viewers and subscribers. Nandito tayo ngayon sa Lasalle University of Samis para makapagsalita sa Youth Congress 2024 Unlocking Potential Igniting Change Ang challenge ko ngayon ay matutunan ng isang bagong sayaw sa TikTok At more importantly, tayo ay makikipag-usap sa mga SK officials wow! Ready na ba kayo? At syempre, marami pa tayong ibang matututunan sa mga Osamis Youth Leaders Kaya, let's go! Ano yung mga maling conception o maling pag-iisip tungkol sa pagiging SK leader? Uh, the people think that they are stereotyping the SK for that they are just more on sports activities which the SK has a bigger vision than that. Yung maling akala na, na inisip nila sa amin ay parang wala lang kami ginagawa na nasa position kami wala kami ginagawa pero as SK Federated mas mabigyan ko sila na na sa kanilang pangailangan at first uh, sir no when I was I uh, tunong di pa ako na elect pag uh, SK counselor I thought talaga yung SK is um, sumusunod lang ito within the sa mga barangay captain. But um, actually, when I was being elected, is nakita ko nga they can have a voice also. They can create a pro paning mga programs para sa mga uh, sudyante or sa mga youth. And mura siya mo, ito ko kayong misconception day na ako. Uh, people think that uh, being a youth leader, you, you don't have much of a voice because you should follow who are older than you. Ganon. What is true is you should have your own voice. You should empower uh, youth just like you and your voice matters. I would even consider our voice to be very important because we are the future of this country. What are the top five things that you enjoy as an aspiring youth leader? Simply just the bond with uh, fellow youths, serving the youths as well. It's fun educating some people as well with uh, things I know. Of course, I can communicate within my community, especially in the youth. The second one is I do have the um, the friendly being as an SK and another thing is that they acknowledge me as a, someone who's a public servant and it's a very privileged attorney. Of course, there is the spirit of coordination, collaboration between me and the SK leader and the people or the young people or the youth that all have do trust on me. So for me, um, I really enjoy being serve in our barangay to help our community community to more progressive society, sir. Ay, kailangan na kailangan niya. Yes, sir. Yung mga servant leader. Yes. Thank you, thank you. How about you? Um, one of also, sir, is um, to render the best service, no? Along sa, um, as what I've seen within the youth, mango, there's a lot of mga needed to improve and we wanted to improve that one in order to make it progress. Um, Nai-enhance kasi yung leadership namin rin sa barangay namin na, na, na nakikerry din namin within the school. As an SK counselor, there will be a lot of opportunities and incentives like for example this program sir we sent here by the help of our barangay they help us i like what they call this one as cash assistance like among registration here sir like, ano pangalan ng barangay ninyo barangay rizal at jimenez misamis occidental sir hello sa lahat ng mga tagadong barangay rizal ah naku thank you for helping yung sk natin Kayo naman, anong uh, barangay? Barangay Masabot po. Oh, hello sa lahat ng mga taga-barangay Masabot at thank you for supporting us. It's the people that surrounds me po. I am really happy that um, I got out of my circle, I got out of my shell, I got the chance to socialize to other people po. And it is also a really big challenge for me po because I, I am still in high school so I still have a long way to go. I still have to take on college so um, it is a big, big challenge for me but even though the, that there are downsides, I still find to enjoy it because I know that it is better for me but not just for me only but also for the community po especially for the youth empowerment po. number one is to lead to be their voice to help them and to motivate them that we can do something and to help the youth sunod po na tanong anong inyong mensahe sa aming mga thunders <laughs> hopefully na 
uh, the support, the support po, uh, kung saan po is uh, doon namin kasi makukuha yung full na po uh, pag implementa ng mga programs, especially um, para po sa mga youth po. Mga Thunders, ha, dapat suportahan natin ang mga youth natin sa SK. We have the same idea, sir. Uh, we need some support para mas uh, mas mabigay pa namin ang aming mga gusto ng mga programa para sa kabataan ngayon. Ang mensahe ko para sa kanila is we should continue to fight for what really is the democracy is and of course our um, constitutional rights and of course on to be the voice of the voiceless. Thank you so much. And how about you? Uh, I think my message for the boomers is that uh, we really should accept that the world is changing. There are other things that uh, may not be uh, common to what you had back then. So uh, with that, I think, yeah, we should just accept. And also, along with that, we should also give our advices and let's have a common ground to fight against injustices. Ako, meron akong pasasalamat sa inyo kabataan dahil Matanda ako, hindi ko nagegets yung mga nasa technology natin. Tuwing may problema ako, tinatawag ko yung mga anak ko eh. Anak, ayusin mo nga ito, hindi ko magawa ito sa computer. But I, I am really amazed at how, how you're so adept at uh, social media and uh, internet. Mm -hmm. Short lang, sir, is to continue inspire the youth. We youth also have an importance in this uh, government because um, I am sure that the youth also have a lot of potential. So given a chance to be an SK Federated President, I will um, help the youth to indulge more in the in the brighter side for their future. Patuloy mo lang po na i-guide yung mga SK, mga youth natin dahil nasa sa inyo po yung mas may high na po kayo na na mga karanasan, mga experiences. I-guide lang po sila kami. I-guide lang po kami kung ano yung mas mabuti na magagawa pa namin. Ayan ha, mga Thunders. Tutulungan natin ang mga SK ha. Bilang leader, ano ang mayaambag ninyo o contribution ninyo sa inyong komunidad? Mainly, I think I would help in ways of still education because uh, as how I see it, I think education is the main reason why a lot also are misinformed because certain parts of education aren't focused even in budgets. There are a lot of corruption within that area. So I think whenever I become a leader, I would focus on that aspect. I'm the, the bringer of change and the, or something like the catalyst of change. And of course, um, I will be uh, like, ang bato sa lipunan ay yung maging isang halimbawa na there should be the one who will uh, fire, will light a candle of hope. And that is the hope for the youth that should be the youth participation when it comes to, govern, to government or political situation, political climate, is that it should be one of the priority for the youth. Nga po nang sinabi nila, nasa kabataan ang pag-asa ng bayan. So gagawin namin ang lahat namin ang makakaya namin para ma-empower you na, na saying. Maraming maraming salamat. Meron akong pinaka-last request sa inyo. Pwede niyo ba akong turuan na mag-tiktok dance? <laughs> Anong gagawin? Ituruan niyo po. Papasalamat tayo sa La Salle University of Samis at sa lahat ng mga nag-organize ng Youth Congress 2024. I had such a great time, lalong-lalo na ng mga in-interview ko yung mga SK officials natin. At uh, yung isang pumatak sa mga nakausap ko. Number one, ako, yung misconception, iniisip natin yung SK pang sports lang. Maraming pwedeng gawin ng SK at maraming ginagawa ang mga SK leaders para sa mga komunidad natin. Let's help them. Supportahan natin sila. At syempre, dagang salamat sa lahat ng mga subscribers natin. Mag-like pa kayo, mag-share, mag-follow. At sana makadalo rin ako sa inyo.